Hello, 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 my dear student. And this week we will cover a very important concept, which is electric field. What is a field? We will define it. A field uh, is a region of space where a physical quantity is assigned to every point. We will see that also field is scalar and vector field. We will explain it throughout examples, as you can see. Then we will define it as we used to, using equations. Magnitude of the electric field for a charged particle is equal to the force divided by Q test. Q test is a test charge that we have put in that field, how that will affect it. And we have Ke, which is 8.99 times 10 to the power 9, Newton meter square per column square. We will discuss that in details. And then what is meant by superposition? And always sigma. E, which is electric field, is equal to E1 plus E2. And then we will apply what we have learned using uh, this example here that you can see in front of you. Then we will solve sample problem electric field due to two charges here. We have Q1 and Q2, and we will solve it in details as we are used to do. And then we will uh, solve this question. You will solve this question to make sure that you understood it thoroughly. Then we will learn what's the difference between electric field, how to represent it in space. Electric field, the direction from positively charged and negatively charge from positively charged it goes outward and for the negatively charged it goes inward and then we fit the field line rules this is a very important thing to cover field lines must be positive charge and terminate on negative charge at infinity the number of field lines leaving or entering a charge is proportional to the strength of the charge and many other points that we will cover in details in our studies. Then we will discuss field lines for multiple charges here and uh, doldrums near the equator. Trade winds from both the north and south converge, producing a band of reduced surface wind called the intertropical convergence zone and then we will see here how the field lines and vectors how to draw them and we will discuss them in details i hope you understand this topic as you have understood the previous ones and then we will discuss conductors and electric field what's the meaning of a conductor and what's the opposite of conductor which is an insulator Then we will discuss a uniform electric field, which F equals Q, which is the charge times the electric field. And that is the rule for electric force near a sheet of charge. Also, we will learn how to apply it using different examples. I hope you will understand this topic as you understood the previous one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.